imagine a case where a doctor or a researcher who is a clinical researcher having three important drugs at hand and the doctor or the researcher wants to know which drug is more suitable for the patient. And if we consider a case to reduce the weight loss for a patient, there are several drugs available in the market. Now, I would like to know what drug that is more suitable for the patient that can reduce the weight at the same time maintain the patient's physical condition. In order to answer these type of questions, when we deal with the several type of drugs or interventions in one group of patient or a control group of patient, at that time we use network meta analysis. Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser is scaled down. How are you my dear learners? Welcome back again in a, one of the fascinating meta analysis tutorial playlist series. Today we are going to talk about the network meta-analysis. It's a very advanced statistical tool and very powerful analysis where it identifies the best treatments for a condition and is used extensively used by the healthcare decision makers. And nowadays it is commonly used every pharmaceutical companies before they launch a drug. So this is a very popular topic and I believe this video will be useful because I'm going to share you a free software where you can use your meta-analysis, network meta-analysis very easily, analyze it, interpret it and you will get a very good idea how to decorate or design your data set. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Now I'm going to share a very special way to design your data set for network meta-analysis. On top of it, I'm going to share a free web-based software for you to analyze your network meta-analysis. I'm pretty sure this video is going to be very useful because those who are interested to do network meta-analysis, they have to know how to design their data set. At the same time, what is the available best software that can be useful for network meta-analysis? So here you can see in my Excel file, there are several studies and one of the studies starting from study one to study 24 and you can see the study names are there. Remember my dear learners, the column headings that I give you study, study T1, N1, M1, you have to give the name of the column heading exactly the same. Why? Because it is really important when you analyze your data using the meta insight data, web-based data interactive software, at that time, the software will understand only the design or format that I am now sharing with you. So, there are three important things that you need to need to remember. Here, there are uh, several studies and treatment one, this is one of the treatment, the first treatment and the number of observations or control group where this treatment is applicable. And the mean of that particular study that we are talking about, let's say COW 2006, what is the mean of that treatment group? Uh, in that case, the mean is minus 1.6. Then what is the standard deviation? And there is another treatment group, placebo. Now, there is an important thing you have to remember. Placebo is a very important term in a medical science. Placebo is something like a fake condition. For example, in earlier days when the medicine was a crisis in World War II, at that time, we have saw that uh, doctors and the nurses, they quite often use like saline or sugar pills to reduce the pain of the soldiers. So that's called a mental uh, understanding or expectation that something is, something the patient is taking, therefore the condition is improving. That is called the placebo effect. And normally this placebo effect is applied when we would like to compare the drug and a placebo effect or a fake condition. African battlefields of World War II, wounded soldiers were plentiful, but morphine was often scarce. Army doctor Henry Beecher needed to operate on an injured soldier, but had no drugs to give him for the pain. A desperate nurse grabbed a vial of salt water, filled a syringe, and miraculously, the soldier's pain went away. When Henry Beecher returned to Harvard University after the war, he found that a range of ailments from gunshot wounds to the common cold could be treated with fake medicine. It's known as the placebo effect from the Latin for I shall please. So what's in them? As you can see here that number one study COW 2006 uses in treatment group one all is dead. This is a reducing obesity medication and the research objective is to reduce the obesity condition of a group of 
control patient and there are several me several um, uh, medicine medication that are using in this particular case and the labeling of the drug here you can see in the levels of three treatments when placebo early state and cyber trimine and also here the list of all the full data set that i'm sharing and uh, level they are like placebo early state cybertrimine metformin and rimonbed these are the drugs that is used for treatment group to see which drug is better conducting the medical protocol okay it's very important in network meta analysis that you should find out a direct effect at the same time indirect effect so what is indirect effect for example one of the study you can see here that orlicid versus placebo and cy cybertramine versus placebo now cybertramine and orlicid they do not head to head compare in one, any of this study but they are comparing with against the placebo so placebo orlicid and cybertramine they have created a triangle in that particular triangle there is an indirect effect you can measure between orlicid and cybertramine medication and that is called the indirect effect so in a network meta analysis we not only understand the indirect direct effect head to head effect but also we also understand the indirect effect between the two drugs using a common competitor like for example here placebo is a common moderator okay consistency is very important because without the consistency you cannot run a network meta analysis it is very important and consistency here is you need to see all the studies that are commonly using a research objective commonly using the drugs that you are looking for for the group of people that you are going to study and commonly a common factors are there without the common factor or common medication or common treatment protocol the network meta analysis is very hard to apply and also you cannot find the best drug or suitable drug out of that study so what now once you do it you have to go to the web there is a one of the fantastic tool called the metal inside okay so once you go to the metal inside this is a web based interactive network meta analysis software that is very useful for your network meta analysis uh, data so here you can go to the i will share the link as well load the data once you load the data you can go to the select and once you select you can see that in the download section i have many data and you can see the network meta analysis sample data you can click this one and you will find the data set very easily and then you just have to go to the data analysis and as you can see here that the number of intervention six total data set that i am using number of intervention is six you can see one two three six there are number of six interventions or treatment protocol that i am using so number of intervention six number of studies 24 and this is the demographic or characteristics of the studies that i am now using okay now once you have done it there are two methodology in network meta analysis one is called the frequency frequentist network meta analysis other one is the bayesian network meta analysis but in meta network meta analysis this is the data characteristics go to the study results if you go to the study results you will see that the uh, forest plot is showing you, uh, you these are the drugs between orlicet versus placebo uh, cybertramine versus placebo and also like for example other drugs metformin versus placebo and all these drugs can show you that what is the in favor of the medication in favor of the medication and what is the normal placebo state or normal state so in this case in the left hand side there are more effect of the drugs as compared to the right hand side of the forest plot so from that forest plot we understand that yes there is a significant impact on the medication medication on the treatment group okay now there is another way you can check it's called the network plot and this is the best uh, way to find out the connection between the drugs and as you can see here that these round round shapes uh, circles are called the node and these are called the edge so the edge and nodes are connected so the thick edges showing that most of the studies are based on placebo versus orlicet and sub subtramine so basically this is the common factor and this is the two treatment group are most commonly showing all the studies so you can see that these two drugs are more suitable 
as compared to other drugs that we are using in this particular study. Okay, this one uh, frequency data network meta analysis you can always check individual comparison like others versus placebo, meaning that all the drugs versus placebo. As I said that in the left hand side, most of the uh, circular diagram are there. The forest plot uh, indication that these drugs has a significant impact on the patients reducing the obesity problem. We hear that the forest plot or the data summary or the study results are just a click away to find out your network meta-analysis, a holistic results. So I believe this is a fantastic way to analyze your network meta-analysis, this open source web-based software, Metal Insight. And this is the way you should design your data. Uh, first, you collect the studies, then what are the treatment for the first group? And then what are the treatment for the second group? Likewise, their mean and standard deviation you have to design. And once you design it just like this way, you upload it in the Metal Insight and then the software will do the rest for you. If you have any question about the network meta-analysis, I'm here for you. You can email me. You can always comment in the video comment box. I will of course get back to you and solve your problem. And I believe this meta-analysis playlist will be very useful. And if you are very interested to do a collaborative meta-analysis work with me, feel free to email me. We can jointly work and do more research on the meta-analysis aspect. Thank you so much my dear learners for your patient hearing. I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.